Hi, this is the Yamaha RX-7 drum machine. RX-7, probably, was featured in countless 80s classic records, but one thing we know for sure. Highly acclaimed DJ and film composer Tom Holkenborg prized RX-7 amongst the best digital drum machines of the 80s. The drum emulator, um, this is a beautiful one, uh, the Oberheim uh, DX. Um, and this one, the RX RX7 by Yamaha. So <clears throat> these were used to create all these funky drum rhythms. Oh, really? Or Yamaha RX7 still relevant to this day because it is capable of stranger things. In fact, I could write an entire movie score just on this drum machine alone without any external processing or mixing. What is it all about? Let's compare the RX-7 to its famous sibling, Yamaha RX-5. The most important difference is the absence of multiple outputs, slightly less comprehensive sound editing capabilities, and the effect button in place of the reverse button. In the sound department, RX-7 completely outshines RX-5. It comes loaded with 100 carefully curated PCM sounds, covering not only the drums and percussion, but a wide range of pitched instruments. The absence of the reverse button compensated this a collection of reverse samples. The comprehensive MIDI implementation effectively turns RX-7 into a fully-fledged music workstation. And this justifies a single stereo output. I mean, you can make complete instrumental arrangements in the box. I can use one of the MIDI channels for the voice control as a conventional drum machine. And any or all channels for pitch control. And I can play and record any of the RX-7 voices over a 5 octave range this 8 note polyphony. And these 16 MIDI keyboards, it may become a sound source for a small keyboard orchestra. Writing patterns in real time, it's easy and a lot of fun, especially these customized sounds. With so many modern drum machines struggling to offer a comprehensive song mode, Yamaha RX-7 has this song chain feature, which gives us three chains up to 90 songs each. So, you can run a whole show of RX-7. Not bad for a 34-year-old drum machine. Uh, just one thing. Don't even think to load any of the demo songs into RX-7 memory. It will wipe out all your data in a blink of an eye. And all your hard work will be lost forever. Oh. The voice editing on RX-7 is almost as powerful as on RX-5. This is just one example of voice edit features. Oh. 
all easily accessible. The manual is written all over it. Essentially, the effect button engages a MIDI delay, which plays a massive role in RX-7 sound. This reminds me of the much-hated MIDI delay on my Tempest drum machine. Besides the number of repeats and the delay time, I can control pitch level and the panning of each repeat. In multi-voice mode, the first row of the keys will play just one instrument, but I can assign a different pitch, decay, pan and level values to each key, making my MPC life slightly jealous. And this is my favorite feature by far. Dump and stop buttons. Just listen to that. So, if you are addicted to the vintage digital drum machines, try to purchase the RX-7 before it appears in the episode of the Bad Gear Show, and the prices suddenly go crazy. <laughs> 